last nine days to enter to win this truck. Every $5 you spend at lmpgear.com, two automatic entries to win. Last nine days. Information in the description below. Funniest thing, I buy this car for my wife, and I really love driving it. And for those of you that never really got a close look around this thing, let me show you just like the seats, the dash. There's no like tack or anything there until you get in and close the door. Foot on the brake, touch the button. 455 horsepower awaken, and there you go. All of your stuff. It's one of those vehicles that I never really pictured I would buy until I did. And I was like, hmm, this is pretty nice. Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. We're actually on our way to my parents' property to meet up with my dad and meet up with a subscriber of the channel, actually, who's selling him a part for his first gen that he needs. So we're going to swing on over there and meet up with them. So we're actually here at the barn now. Dad actually just sold a load of hay, he said, and he's got more to sell here soon. I'm trying to figure out what to do with these because I'm selling the... Blue fourth gen today, the winner, not the winner for it, <laughs> the buyer for it should be here soon. These originally came off it, but they're in freaking good shape and they're probably 90% tread. Hardly used Toyo MTs, 35s, and the Motos are in very good condition too. They are hardly used, but I'm not sure what to do with them. I'm thinking about selling them, unless I have another truck I want to put them on, but I really don't care for the Motos. Like if I'm going to buy another set of wheels, I wouldn't be buying these anyway, so it's not like I want to keep them for anything. Then again, I'm kind of thinking maybe I could, I don't know, for fun, put them on a first gen or something. We did just get that first gen tailgate. I didn't get any video. I was kind of in a hurry trying to get out of there because I got to sell this big blue fourth gen, hopefully, if he if he's interested. If he's not interested, that's, that's totally fine. But he is here checking out the truck. I told him to just drive back and start looking at it. So we're going to see how this goes. If he buys it, cool. If not, we have another plan for it. We're going to see how this goes. Also, here's the 7.3. If you want to enter to win it, last few days, big blue is officially sold and gone. No longer own that truck and it's actually a bittersweet I don't know why I'm like a little bit sad to sell that truck right now because I don't ever get sad selling a vehicle I probably get more disappointed and more sad about selling a vehicle than I do giving one away like when you give one away it gives you like this happy vibe feeling but when you sell one to me it's kind of like oh, dang it no going back now she's gone I got to go and grab some dinner with my wife and some family and then I will get back to you guys in just a moment and we're back next day we're actually on our way right now where are we going to let the new know. house. The new house because we got to pick up a wheelbarrow to shovel manure for this young lady's horses. We're going to be moving the horses out soon. I'm probably actually going to just hire like a friend that I used to go to school with or just somebody local that we know um, that has a horse trailer and just say, hey, can we load our horses up and can you just haul them over here and unload them? Just to move the horses 15 minutes, I'm not going to buy a trailer for that. Obviously, if we're going to start like traveling and taking them with us places, then of course that's different. Here we freaking go. Got the horses out there. Wife shutting them out. Got this beautiful specimen here. I am gonna be starting on this. I swear to you, I will be starting on this. Hunting down as much as I can, trying to find the right parts truck to just start swapping parts. Cause obviously it's gonna be kind of tough to just start swapping parts when you don't have parts to swap. I want something so I can swap out the interior, the bed, uh, you know, in the doors and just get that rolling so that then we can get it to get the fuel system fixed, stuff like that. And I know there are people that want me to do certain things like, I had a comment from a guy that says, do every single thing yourself, even fixing the fuel system leak and all that stuff, which is really bad, mind you. And I said, here's the reason why I don't do some of that stuff. If I've never done it, obviously, I need to learn how to do it if I'm gonna try to ever do it myself. But the problem is I don't understand the VE pumps at all and I would hate to mess something up and reinstall it and put tons of time and work into it. And then it still leaks and it still has a problem and I could have just dropped it off and had it picked up in two days and it was just done so I could actually get further progress on the truck. Now we are gonna do a lot of other stuff to the engine that I'm gonna do myself, but with a fuel system like this, I'd rather not mess it up. That's just me. So I, I like to learn certain things, but certain things that are crucial that are very important to be done the right way. I don't really like messing with with too much if I'm not confident in my ability to actually get it done the right way. Because I do want to take it on a drive because we haven't even driven the truck yet. But again, like I said, kind of hard to drive when it's spraying probably a gallon of fuel every two, three minutes. I mean, it's literally that bad. Like it's just like spraying fuel down. Hopefully we can find a parts truck and get this moving on the way. I'm also not just looking for a parts truck. I kind of want to find another first gen that's like in really, really good shape just to drive. Don't make fun of my boots when I have my pants tucked in because her and my mom said, oh, we got you a pair of jeans. And they weren't boot cut, so that's what I get. We gotta clean this all out, so let's set up the time lapse and uh, get you guys a little before and after. Yeah. 
we're on our way to meet up with a guy to sell some wheel caps. I don't know how many of you remember, but you remember when I had the blue second gen we called Mordecai and we put forces on that truck. We got the set of wheels and it was missing one of the wheel caps and one of the wheel caps for the set was for like a small half ton size like six by something bolt pattern so the cap was way too small so american force ended up sending us a whole new set of caps even though i was only missing one they said a whole new set so i had three extras and so i put them for sale and some guys got a second gen i think with um forces on it and he wants to come check them out so we're gonna head on over to the barn see what this is all about and then uh maybe just maybe if he drives that truck over there i don't know if he will or not but if he does see if we can get his truck on video but we'll see well time to fix a little problem that we have with the first gen and it's one of the least of my concerns but it is a concern so the first gen's front passenger side tire my bad driver's side constantly goes low and I jacked it up really high I know but it, it always goes low so I filled it up with some air just to get it up off the ground but we're gonna swap this out and we're gonna see if that one holds air now I did want to for fun see you know just with one of the 35s on the front end of this thing with the 24 just to see what it looks like but I'm only gonna do one just because I got to take the truck to get some work done here soon with the fuel pump and also another thing we did I think find the perfect parts truck so hopefully fingers crossed hopefully everything goes well it's right within the budget it's real cheap but it's low miles no rust anywhere on the body just flaking paint and stuff like that so we may have just gotten an absolute gem of a first gen nailed down for really cheap He's about two hours away story that I was told on it and he doesn't know who I am I don't know who he is but he said it's an old man's truck it's got like 65,000 miles on it rust free but just faded paint regular cab long bed two-wheel drive d250 with a 318 gas motor in it I think is what he said and he's only asking 3,000 bucks but I think we can get it for closer to two he said it was an old man's truck he drove it for years he took his license away from him about 10 years ago the truck's been parked in a garage ever since but we're just ready to part ways with it and get rid of it low mileage truck literally grandpa driven and owned previously he said nobody's really driven it since other than occasionally here and there just to keep it running but it runs great mechanically sound everything's done to it it's roadworthy but he said no rust anywhere on it no dents no dings he's like it's actually straight as an arrow rust-free body truck I'm like perfect I'm not gonna tell him I'm gonna use it as a parts truck because he might not want to sell it to me but here's the thing here's the thing about it and, it and it's gonna hurt me a little bit too I hate seeing a truck that's like you know somebody's truck that they kept so nice for all these years to part it up you got to take it to this perspective though guys somebody else is just gonna buy that truck and just drive it and drive it and drive it until it's done for and it's gonna be done eventually eventually all of this stuff and this is why you gotta keep this in mind. Eventually, all of this stuff will rot, turn to dust, and disappear, and it's all gonna go. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do what I need to to make sure I can do what fulfills me as a person and helps me get done what I'm trying to get done. It's gonna be a super clean truck, and a lot of people are gonna be like, dude, don't destroy that truck. You know, Don't rip the bed off, and don't rip the fenders off, and the doors off, and the interior out. Like, It's a nice truck, and I get that, but a flatbed on this truck would cost me four grand. So if I can get a parts truck that has interior, windshield, bed, doors, fenders, new grill, new bumpers, and it's literally hardly over two grand, and it's rust free, and I don't have to get any of that stuff dealt with, like in terms of rust and dents and crap. I'm sorry, but I've gotta do it, and I've gotta make it work. So we're gonna get to swapping out this wheel though real quick. Hopefully we can get this done real quick and get a 35 on there. And also take that one that's in the bed of the truck and put that on to actually keep it on the truck until we're further ahead with the build. That was a pain in the butt. Holy smokes, that, that was not easy to get on there. Oh my gosh, wow, look at that. No, I'm not gonna put a setup like this on this truck. At least that's not the plan at all. Planning on more of a traditional old school style setup on this truck, but just thought some of you might get a kick out of this. Eight on six five, 24 by 14 Archon off-road wheels. Talk about tire poke, holy crap, that's nuts. Okay. Time to get the tire on. Well, everybody, I'm probably gonna end the video out here. I don't really know how much I got for you guys. I tried to vlog a little bit yesterday and a little bit today, which is Sunday here. Just trying to get some bits and pieces of stuff we had going on for you guys, because that's what I'm trying to do now, is just vlog every day. I'm not sure how much content I got, but I try to get you as much as I could. Stay tuned, lots going on tomorrow. Tomorrow, we have to do a couple different things. We might be buying two different trucks, one for sure, uh, the one I was just telling you about, that to regular cab first gen, and then we've got a bunch of running around to do. I have to go get a trailer. Reagan and I are gonna start moving into our house, um, which means the shop content's gonna be coming. I'm trying to get the shop prepped, and as soon as the shop's prepped, 
You're gonna be doing all kinds of stuff on the first gen here. Tons of stuff coming up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did not do so yet, enter to win the 2001 73 Power Stroke with $5,000 cash. You're down to the last nine days to enter to win that truck and then it's over. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.